Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And I'm fired up for this matchup, man. We're going up against ranked Maryland. And Ohio State, as you can see, they lost last week to Maryland. So this is going to be a tough matchup. I mean, I'm surprised at how good Maryland actually is. And we're at home, at least. But I'm surprised they are turning heads here. Only 84 overall team. We're 83 overall. And they ended up beating 95 overall Ohio State at home. So they are turning some heads this year. So this is definitely going to be a top matchup, a tough matchup. But if you look at the other division, Iowa still 7-1. But let's just look at how we rank up against Maryland. Let's just look at the matchup here. Uh, one second. Let me get to it really quick. So Maryland, as you can see, they have a top 10 defense in the nation. Number 9 defense. We're 14. We're not too bad. I don't. We must have been giving up no yards on the ground in our first like few games because I don't know how we're number one in rush defense because it seems like these running backs have been torching us lately. Pass defense, they have the number 28 pass defense. And this is going to be a tough matchup for us because we have a top 10 offense. They have a top 10 defense. This is going to be a hell of a good game, man. So let's just hop into this. I'm not going to waste any more time. Number 14, Indiana. Number 21, Maryland. Let's go. Coming out against ranked Maryland. I still can't believe Maryland is ranked in this dynasty. I mean, at least they're coming up. At least we're getting some competition in the Big Ten. But as you can see, we're going to get this ground game going with Devontae Williams on the triple option. Ramsey on a second and four is going to drop back, throw deep. Look at the wide open guy that he missed over the middle. But Ramsey shows that inaccuracy once again on the third down, missing semi cop. So we are forced to punt the ball. But man, these running backs in the Big Ten are just breaking all types of tackles. That time it's Harrison, uh, the second or the third on that one. And on a third and one, once again, Hill is going to run a triple option. That time, Harrison is going to get the ball on the pitch. So now they are across the 50-yard line. And this time, they have two impact running backs. This one's going to be Johnson getting a nice 25-yard gain up to the tw about the 15-yard line. And on the next play, they give the ball back to Ty Johnson. <laughs> And Marcelino Ball comes up with a huge hit. He lays out both the quarterback and the running back at the same time. And he shows off that beastie hit power that he has. But nonetheless, Harrison gets in for the touchdown. But man, what a hit he put on them. But we take over here in our own territory after the kickoff. Uh, Peyton finding our receiver over the middle for the first down. On a second and eight, rolling out to the right, getting another first down. So we're almost at the 50-yard line on the third and eight. Uh, two minutes left in this first quarter. We're getting sacked there. So we are forced to give the ball back to the Maryland Terps. And what did they do? They attempt to run the ball, but our defense is all over Harrison on that one. But on a third and eight, eight Hill is going to drop back, find his tight end, Edwards, over the middle for the 18-yard reception. So on a third and one, Hill is going to drop back once again, finding his receiver on the slant route over the middle, getting past the 50-yard line. So to open up the second quarter, Giving the ball once again. This one's going to be Johnson on that one for the 25-yard gain. And just like that, the Indiana Hoosiers defense continues gotcha, to bitch. struggle a little bit. But we're getting Hill for the sack on that play. So we do get them to settle for the field goal. So now Maryland's got the 10-0 lead. And it's the second quarter. we got to make up some ground here. So we're getting the ball to Michael Wilson on an easy pass across the middle. On the next play, giving the ball up the middle to Devontae Williams. So Ramsey dropping back to pass on a third and nine. Some more pressure, and this defense is just daunting. They have the top 10 defense in the nation. They're taking advantage of that top 10 defense, 
and our top 10 offense isn't showing up to this point but Hill is finding their receiver on the post corner route and they're going to get all the way into enemy territory and Harrison continues to beast in this first half but we do stop him there on a second down run but look at this he goes down so he's out for the game so they're gonna have to depend on Johnson as their backup running back and as you can see Marcus Rutledge playing that lockdown D on the outside so they settle for the field goal so it's a 13-0 lead but almost at two minutes left Simi Cobbs is gonna be open there Across the middle, he's going to break a tackle and get in for the touchdown. Simi Cobbs, the 78-yard touchdown, the senior. Look at this footing. He breaks the tackle and barely stays in bounds, but he gets in for the touchdown. The longest pass play of the season up to this point. So they get the ball back with two minutes left. And look what happens on the first play. They throw the pick six to Crawford. Crawford is going to walk into the end zone. The All-American last year, the preseason All-American this year. He's getting it done at the safety position for the pick six. So they take over once again. And on a first and ten, once again, another interception by Crawford. That is two interceptions in less than ten seconds by the All-American and Hill is just about giving up this lead for the Terps. So we take over inside the 20 yard line, getting the ball, Devontae Williams there. And once again, we feed the beast, give it to him once again on a four yard touchdown run. So the Indiana Hoosiers were down 13-0 with two minutes left. And just like that, we're up 21-3 in a minute and a half, 21-13 that is. So they get the ball back, 30 seconds left. We gotta make sure they don't throw another pick. They're throwing a slant route to the receiver getting past the first down marker to the 50 yard line and Hill on the next play is going to attempt to roll out breaking a tackle sliding a man that that was a cheat cheating ass slide because they just slid like four yards for that and once that. again he attempts to throw to the flat this time it's Riggins so Hill throws three interceptions in the last two minutes of the first half and he's just giving away this game at this point. So now we have 12 seconds left to get down the field, get into field goal range. We're finding uh, Wilson there on the curl route. And on uh, first and 10, we're getting inside the 25-yard line. That passes to Simi Cobbs, who's over 100 yards with that catch in the first half. So they get the ball to start the second half and they have some ground to make up but this indiana hoosiers defense is just giving hill nightmares in that pocket not getting in for too many sacks but he's throwing picks it's kind of the same story as last year and we stop him here on a fourth down they go for it they're at midfield so they don't give away too good of field position, but still field position nonetheless. And this time we're getting the ball to Timmy in for the long run, getting inside the 15-yard line. Luke Timmy in, the senior slot receiver. He's got that speed, man. That's why I got him at slot. And once again, Michael Wilson getting the ball out in the flat, but they do stop us there on that third down, so we do kick the field goals. But it's still a two-touchdown lead here in the third quarter, and Hill is – he shows a little bit of accuracy on that one, showing a nice little lob pass over the top of our defense, but they give the ball to Ty Johnson. And once again, Hill drops back to pass, throws deep, and look that. who it is. No one else but Crawford on the tip and the pick. Look at the tip drill on that one. Crawford for his third interception of the game what a historic game he's having on this in this matchup and we're at home so we gotta show out a little bit Devonte williams busts out his first big gainer of the game that time for almost 20 yards but on a third and five rams is gonna roll out find mike majette there short of the first down actually that does get the first down but <laughs> we finally got some computer cheese on that one Simi Cobbs getting open, having a monster game. This is a big, big game for our big-time superstars on offense. Simi Cobbs on offense, 
Crawford on defense, and man, this is what we've been looking for. We are straight annihilating the Maryland Terps. Once again, trying to send a blitz, trying to make him throw an interception and make a mistake. And once again, he does make a mistake on the next play. Raekwon Jones with the fifth pick of the game. And just like that, Hill is just giving this game away. And the Indiana Hoosiers are running away with this one. Simi Cobbs on another reception for a 20-yard gain. And Devontae Williams getting the ball up past the 50-yard line, almost into field goal range. So now there's five minutes left in this fourth quarter. Simi Cobbs is going to get another pass. And this is an historic day for Simi Cobbs. He's going to have his career high in receiving yards but on a third and 16 getting sacked there and we do settle for another field goal so it's 37 to 13 and hill he's got to be careful not to throw a sixth pick in this game he's finding his receiver over the middle and who else picks it up and that's gonna be crawford this guy has a nose for the football and just like that in embarrassing fashion the maryland terps stumble out of indiana 13 to 37 uh, all around great game for the hoosiers 117 yards for Devonta williams and simi cows 182 yards receiving on eight receptions a great historic game for him but the story of this game is the senior at strong safety Jonathan Crawford, three interceptions, a fumble recovery. He was all over the ball this game. What a game. But, man, we have our eyes forward on Michigan coming up. They're undefeated, so hit subscribe. Hit that like button. We're going to be looking to feed off of this game going into the biggest game of the year.